Uh, now you see guys that are training one body part a day. And as you see, the physiques is not as complete as they were during that era. You see guys with much smaller calves, you can't train your calves. I talked to a lot of guys at, at the show, you know, you, you meet them, say, okay, let me take a look at his calves. So that's always an indication of how far you're gonna go. You know, the calves. And so, well, I gotta work on a little bit. How many days are you training? Once or twice? I said, you can't train your calves once or twice. It's a stubborn muscle. It's been walking around with you ever since you were a kid. Because you've been walking with you ever since you were a toddler. So just a regular whole home workout's not gonna get it. When I walk down the block in the summertime with a pair of shorts on, God damn, I see this man's calves. Jesus. Yo, bro, what you do? How do you get calves like that? They'll ask me. I won't have to open my mouth because they'll already know. I have something to say. Not just with my mouth, but with my actions. The moral of the story is, you know what, don't be so quick, you know, so early in your training to adopt the ideas of, oh, you can't develop this, and or this body part is just out of your reach because of some genetic flaw. The reality is, who's hooked you up to Electro to sat down and read your DNA code to know who's who and what's what? That attitude and that stick to itness can take you far beyond your natural potential. A calf is a stubborn muscle. So how do you expect for it to respond? You've been walking around on it since you were born. So your calf is used to high endurance. So in order to go beyond that, you gotta give it something very different. You have to stimulate and nearly annihilate a calf in order for it to respond. Heavy, hard, consistent. Quads were outrageous, but calves weren't non-existent. I remember my sister saying to me when I was 20, saying, why are your calves so small compared to your legs? And that fucking killed me, you know?
Do calves really matter in bodybuilding? This is something that's drove me out of my mind. And when you think about it logically, think about the arms, bicep, tricep, and think about the calves. And the calves is actually a bigger muscle than the arms. If you look at a normal person that's never worked out, their calf muscle takes up more mass on their body than their arms. Don't short any part of your, any body part. You put just as much effort in every body part. Lead or hell, man, we'd be out here doing it. Rest of my body, like, is a weak point. So he started having me do, you know, calves three times a week. Uh, probably when I was like 21 years old, and yeah, so we've been doing it for seven years, and now uh, calves have turned into cows. I was over in Austria and I saw him on the cover of this muscle magazine. It was really extraordinary with his gigantic arms and his monster calves. Chances are, you put the effort forward and you do the work, you know, honestly and religiously, you know, at some point in time, you too can actually surprise yourself in your development.